In the 16 years since Squeeze appeared on the London pub scene, they have circled the globe more than 23 times, performing night after night and lending new meaning to the old phrase, practice makes perfect. That's why we figured they'd be the ideal band to help answer the question, what's life on the road really like? I fell asleep on the plane, woke up with my tongue hanging out, feeling rather embarrassed, and uh, now here we arrive ready for a sound check. My daughter's with us. She's upstairs with her new Barbie horse box. Sometimes we hear it all tear, his face is grey as stone. His feet up on the table next to the chicken bones. He seems to show no feelings, pick it corner from his teeth. The police down. It's a bit like being in a submarine, and you've really got to learn to get on with your fellow submariners, otherwise, it's. Uh, it can become a bit of a nightmare, you know. You know, you put some effort into trying to make it interesting for yourself, knowing that you're going to be there for six weeks, but there's only so many ways you can arrange a plate of meat and cheese, to, you know, before you think you never want to see one again. <laughs> I mean, we all grumble and everything, and we'll all be real glad to get back home, but uh, uh, personally, I do find it gives me a, a bit of a kick. Words of the tender, I love my The great thing about the band has always been, and it is, is still now, is that when people come to see Squeeze, they get a, a two-hour really good show, you know, and the band really do deliver the goods. That is the best part of the day when you're on tour, the two hours that you play live. And I feel like William Taylor, some of what goes on during their two-hour show can be heard on their new album, Some Fantastic Place, which includes the return of old bandmate Paul Carrick. I'm Mike O'Malley for VH1 Inside Music.